What's up guys? So today I wanted to teach you guys about layers and I have the right project to do that with. I have to create a title card for the craziest thing video comic. So might as well create the title card, teach you guys all about layers and show you how you can use them to your advantage to create all kinds of works of art. Sounds good? Thought so. All right, let's go. Alright gang, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Adobe Illustrator or whichever drawing program that you like to work out of. I like to work out of Illustrator, which apparently makes me crazy, but <laughs> beside the point, uh, open up Adobe Illustrator and for this title card, let's see, I'm going to choose, oh, let me see here, what's, what size shall I choose, new, um, all right, we're going to choose 11 by 17 just so I have some space to work with. We're going to uh, work vertical because, again, we're going to uh, output this drawing or this work of art as a, um, as a PNG and then take it into Photoshop. So let me tell you exactly what I'm about to do. So this is going to be a title card, just like the opening title card for 22 caliber uh, Christmas. I want to do a title card for uh, the craziest thing. And uh, basically, it's just going to be a, sing so a single shot of the main character, Mike, because uh, this is part of the My Homeboy Mike series. And it's just going to be a single shot of him. Some cool pose I got to figure out. And then, <laughs> and then we're going to color it up and then take it into uh, Adobe Photoshop and use layers to... Uh, build this full work of art out. Okay, so what is a layer? I'm glad you asked that question. And if you're not asking that question, you should be asking that question unless you already know. Then of course you're not gonna ask that question. But the basic way to think of a layer is a transparent surface that you can produce your art onto. A lot of people like to stack layers on top of each other when creating art, which is the process I'm going to be using. I'm actually going to be stacking the layers on top of each other. I'm actually going to be drawing the sketch out first. It's going to be a real messy sketch. Then I'm going to do the line art on top of the sketch, right? The final line art. And then I'm going to put the color layer under the final line art which means I'm going to make the uh, original sketch layer. I'm just going to make that invisible so it can't be seen. So that all that can be seen is once I get done is the final line art and the color art that'll be on that. And then once I get done with that, we're going to output that as a PNG, which is basically just a compressed file. And then we're going to outlo output it as a PNG, which is basically a compressed file with a transparent background. And then from there in Photoshop, we'll add in background elements and all that cool stuff. So uh, let's get started on this drawing and how I want it to go. All right, gang. So here's the basic gist of this process where you're using it to create artwork. Uh, basically, like I said before, I'm doing my under sketch as uh, just these real just this real loose line art drawing that's going to be on the first layer now again layers are transparent when you're an illustrator you'll notice you say well Dave you said the layers transparent what's this white thing behind it that's your artboard so your artboard is just kind of giving you a even though a layer is transparent if it was fully transparent then it, sometimes it's hard to see so they give you this field of um, this one layer that's locked that's the artboard it's a locked layer uh, that you can't really <laughs> do too much with uh, it just allows you to be able to see what you're drawing so that you can you're making sure everything is correct and everything like that because again layers are fully transparent uh, so that's one of the one of the properties of a layers normally like in Photoshop or Illustrator or any of these programs they normally will provide you what's called an artboard which is just basically a white layer of just pure white so that you can see what you're drawing and you don't have to have a difficult time looking and figuring things out because 
that can be an issue. Now check out these perfect two examples of my point about layers being transparent workspaces. If you look at the line art that I'm putting on top of my underdrawing, you can see all the lines <laughs> that I did in the underdrawing right up under it. And now I'm able to pick and choose what lines I wanna highlight with my final line art, what pick and choose what lines I don't wanna highlight. All of that is done in this phase right here. So this is what we're talking about when we say layers are these transparent work surfaces and it gives you so many opportunities to do so many things because you can basically pick and choose what you want to work with, what you don't want to work with. And obviously, again, we have the option of once we're done with all the art or done as far as we, we've gone as far as we want it to go, I can just make the under layer transparent so it doesn't appear anymore. And this is true when I'm adding any color and and again, when I'm going to be adding the layers onto the final artwork. All right, so now that I got my screen up, I have uh, Photoshop open and ready to go. Let's kind of talk about what I'm going to do. So if you know this in Photoshop, you can really see kind of the the true power of layers because it's <laughs> funny enough you see this blank transparent layer uh that's layer one right here where my mouse is uh doing this mousy circle thing um what i'm trying to figure out now is the image that i'm going to drop in first uh to create the layer um which it would which um which would be the background layer um and i'm trying to figure out what i want to drop in first so I'm trying to look through this folder real quick and see what's really going to work for me. Um, I actually have a bunch of set backgrounds that I like to use. Um, they're, and, and, and they're cool because it it's, speeds up the workflow. And that's one of the great things about using layers is that um, you can speed up your workflow, especially if you know how to put images on top of each other and, and stack them up. So just trying to figure out what do I want this background to look like? Do I want it to, what do I want it to have? Um, and again, you don't have to do too much. You just have to have the right you just have to have something that's going to create the right look. Okay, this one might work. This one just might work. All right, well, looks like this is done. <laughs> so um i hope this helped you guys out i hope you guys now understand just what a layer is basically this transparent surface that you can uh as i did in illustrator work on as far as your art is concerned again people do everything from create their own um create the art mush them together you know force layers together merge layers together all kinds of things that you can do with layers to create your art but then it's also as a way uh, a finishing agent for your art as i did in photoshop where i took everything in the photoshop and let me move him down so uh took everything in the photoshop and just kind of put the whole whole shebang together like put on you know threw on the title titling and moved over some other layers and obviously because everything's transparent uh, you can just kind of mix and match and move things around as need be. And, and it just helps you build out your artworks digitally in a way that it would have been harder back in the day because you had to cut and paste and the exacto knives and paste and ugh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so um, if you know what layers are, then obviously this probably wasn't much help. But if you're new to digital art, if you're new to using layers, I hope this gave you a good overview of what you can do with layers. And obviously it helped me get some work done. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Peace.